Hello uh, survivors of the nuclear apocalypse, desert rangers, guardians of the law and good guys. Welcome back to Wasteland 3 and playing hardball. Here we are in Steel Town in our regular reality. Let's have a talk with Dai. Hello again rangers. Hello rangers, yeah. Well, what do you think we Better should get do? Better get the Dowser back to Steel Town, don't you think? So, we know that something bad happens if we are not staying in line with uh, Markham. And actually, there's something here. Roar! This guy is really creepy, isn't he? Like, he, oh, he's moving there. But uh, I think we can actually. use other <coughs> options sniff, sniff. I'm not sure if this guy is not getting on our nerves but uh, bar war let's look closely at him Animal Whisperer, hmm, let's see if we can tame you. What? Well, I mean, Bauer? Person catches themselves before finishing the word. Ha, you can speak. Sit, boy, sit. Growl! Growl! Roar! Okay, well, no, it's always Animal Whisperer. Bar war. Sniff, sniff. Okay, let's try that again. So I I played around, um, and actually the outcome seems to be exactly what I want because we are really the good guys. Steel and uh, while Mark and no crisis inside the factories. Rumors to the contrary are the work of agitators and should be ignored. That Markham, sniff, sniff. our our pseudo boss, is actually um, yeah, basically a technical genius, but of course she is kind of overdoing it. Um, so I think she needs to go. She can't stay there. As a boss, bar war. Maybe we try it like this. Hard as seven. Feign fear. Prepare to open fire, Rangers. This is clearly a dangerous enemy. Admit that you're not a real bear or we'll put you down. I... Uh, <laughs> hey, we are really sorry about what we said earlier. You're clearly a real bear. <laughs> Uh, growl. Keep looking at the bear. Through the eye holes of the bear mask, human eyes stare back at us. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's try this differently. What big eyes you Snarl. have. Hmm. Let's see if we can tame you. Well, I mean, Bauer. Ah, you can speak. Snarl. Crazy for a second, it sounded like that bear could talk. Bar war. Nice step away. Sniff bar war. Nice bear suit. Grrr. Keep looking at the bear. Ah, what an adorable bear. What's got? Who's got a shiny coat? Who eats yummy bear food? Growl. Roar! Ah, well, okay. So 
So I guess we really need Animal Whisperer 10. Roar! And that we will have on the next level, I guess. But at least we got some experience out of this, some additional experience. There sounds. Anybody got a level? No. Ah well. Roar! Anyway, so, so and actually the things uh, we did uh, actually turn out uh, in, in the way I would like, I would prefer, and that's, that's the thing, so let's just check our weapons, um, we can use Yeah, well, now now we want uh, we actually want to uh, be conscientious about our ammo uh, our ammo consumption. By the way, I just noticed here if you look on the right side, ability extinguish with the heavy fire suppressor. That would have been the alternative, I guess, when we had uh, to relieve this guy uh, with the with the fire in the factory. Yeah, to get out of there alive, I guess. Yeah. Well, and actually, we could give our guys a hazard shield generator. A gun that bubble wraps your friends the way they like it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. So, yeah, but I think we don't. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't. We should be uh, careful with our with our ammunition. And we are pretty good at the moment. We have three three hundred energy cells, but uh, we really we rip through them pretty quickly. So I guess we just keep this weapon. And then we can finish off someone, or maybe uh, use the uh, the the general attack. So here, yeah, the neutron projector will be the best against the robots. Pulse gun, that's fine. Actually, here we can use. Where's the that special one? The face blaster. There it is. There we go. Yeah, that looks really cool. Well then, so here we are. Let's go in. Nothing. There's nothing we can really uh, actually do. It's, what uh, the hell is this, Crow? You're on strike again? Didn't you get what you wanted? We got rid of Ludlow. But we only went back to work because the Rangers promised you'd speak to us ASAP. And you haven't said shit! Come on. It's only been, what, a few hours? Yeah? And what part of ASAP didn't you understand? Can't we do this after we finish preparing for the coming of the gangs? I'm trying to keep your people safe. Ha! Of course you are. Wouldn't want anyone else damaging your property, would you? Well, we want to be safe from you, Markham. We want safer machines, better pay, a schedule that doesn't drive us into the grave. And I'll give it to you, Crow. All of it. I promise. Afterwards. After we stop the gangs from raising this place to the ground and taking you all as slaves. Just please. Please go back to work now. You don't get it, Markham. We're not afraid of being taken as slaves because we're already slaves. You, on the other hand, have a whole factory to lose if we don't go back to work. And that, lady, is called leverage. Now, let's parlay. Rangers, there you are. Can you believe this shit? 
Markham's breaking promises already. We're not going back in there until she opens negotiations, and that's that. Yeah, that's the thing here, indeed. So she should really talk with them. Yeah, I mean, there is time uh, just for some general things. No one can be expected to work under such life-threatening conditions. Yeah, And even though these gangs are approaching, uh, there needs to be some compromise. And uh, the more I think about it, the more I am actually on Celine Crow's side. I mean, Abigail is most likely a genius. Yeah, but there is a lot of darkness with her and I think she's just not, she's, she's still playing hardball, this thing. And she doesn't understand that it doesn't work like that anymore. Yeah. She needs to treat pre uh, people in an acceptable way. So, and that's, if she can't do it, then she needs to uh, find another job. Sim simple as that, yeah. And now that we have blue, I think he, c well, of course, they, they will not be able to uh, lead the factory like on this sophisticated level, the sophisticated high tech level, but I guess uh, on a sufficiently high level enough. Yeah, and uh, people need to survive, simple, yeah, simply put. And they don't do that here, apparently. And uh, yeah, and that's all, to, uh, that's all to there is. So. <laughs> Crow's crazy, Rangers. I haven't had time to finish a cup of coffee since you left, and she's already on strike. Tell her I'll honor my promises when we're all safe. No, she's stalling. You're just stalling, Markham. Help the workers, and they'll help you. If you two don't compromise now, the gangs will kill you both. Now stop fighting and start talking. Didn't I say I was willing to negotiate? The only thing I won't compromise on is the time. We talk now, or we're done talking. And that's the one thing I can't compromise on. Either work now and negotiate later, or you'll never work here again. No, you need to negotiate now, especially that, uh, especially as Abigail tried to implement these uh, crazy projects. Yeah? Any good manager would have told the researchers to uh, work on something else. Yeah, these two guys that uh, that we helped, uh, well, to hold their project. Yeah? Same old song and dance, hey Markham. Why is it every time the workers want something, the answer is always wait till next year or after this push, and every time the bosses want something, we're supposed to say yes, ma'am, right away, ma'am. Well, ma'am, we're done delaying our safety and security until it's convenient for you. If you can't run this factory so it takes care of all of us, then you're not going to run it at all. We are. As of right now, we're taking over. <laughs> what? Are you insane? You don't know how to run a factory. Neither do you, Markham. You're done. Yeah, well said. How about you, Rangers? You helped us before. Will you help us again? We agree with you in principle, Crow. But this seems a bit rash. That's... Yeah, we have to say this. Yeah, I think you guys need to have a compromise. Rash? Rash is doing nothing while my brothers and sisters get mangled in the machines. Yeah, that's true too. Rash is working another 16-hour shift on no sleep and half rations. This is life or death for us, Rangers. Literal life or death. Yeah, I know we have underestimated the situation, so she is totally correct. Yeah, there is already life and death, and that needs to be addressed. Now, you're either with us, or you're against us. What's it gonna be? Please don't do this, Rangers. If you betray Administrator Markham, I'm gonna have to fight you. I feel for Crow and the work. But Steel Town in Colorado needs stability right now. We gotta back Markham. Rangers, you are fools if you do this. Your reputation, your contract with the Patriarch, the survival of Steel Town. All those things will be thrown away if you take this step. No, on the contrary. We are here for the people. 
Yeah, and our contract with the Patriarch is being honored because we are here to help Steel Town regain its function and it doesn't function, simply put. So. Now, I am finally seeing the Crow is the maniac Ludlow always said she was. So I am ordering you, Rangers, you don't put have down to the order us and around, remove her by you any can't means necessary. Do I make myself clear? No. Sorry, Markham, you are not the boss of us. We are siding with Crow. You are going down. Idiots! You'll never get through these doors! Oh, sorry, Rangers. I can't help you anymore. You're going against everything Administrator Markham wanted. I gotta try and stop you. It would have been nicer if you were on our side. On our side. Put uh, down your weapons. I'm down! Hard work! Calm down, now you're in place. the provost missed. Uh, let's rather be very very careful around the wake Alfonso. So we're just shooting this guy there. And as our chicken is there we can't even shoot the supersonic blast. Can we? we can, like so. Nice. Nice shot. Lucia, the uh, Cyclops. One has sixty two. There are three dogs there. The guard transport with some kind of rocket launcher uh, is. Scary, but yeah, I think we need to take down this guy first. But he uh, can't really be shot at. So, um, 88%. Yeah, that's pretty a safe thing. But, now let's shoot this guy. Okay, I had expected more, I have to say. Let's prepare for... Or actually, here the boss. Let's rally. Don't get 
disruption field doesn't do much against this guy, so it's, it's no use throwing the grenades. But we can go here and then we can shoot one of these bots, or only that one. Ah, it's too bad. Or we could shoot this one. we can demoralize all of them so let's firstly do something with our other guys X you are there you can actually take out this one Uh, the submachine gun is actually pretty uh, pretty effective against the thing. So let's do more, some more. More than 200 per hit. Preparing for next turn. Yeah, this is good. Let's run here. Nice. There was even three. No, it's two. It was two uh, fields away. Okay, very nice. And I've got five. Ah, let's smash this one some more. Doesn't do anything. Minus 90%. Ah, good. So we are just preparing for next turn. run here then we have one free attack I'm not sure though if this one so actually I think what from what I've seen uh, is that uh, the, the really uh, dangerous ones actually the dogs because the other ones are just shooting us and uh, increase our um, the discounter the, the, his electricity counter while uh, if it's a 10 the dogs can uh, kill us outright or disable us so this one blind I wanted to go for the I'm 
see I have two levels. for next turn you can shoot the dog bot Probably the best solution. Let's do that. Yeah, the energy field, the protected loose here as well. Cyclops. Can actually go behind this one. Prepare for next turn. This is your last warning. We're gonna send you to hell for that! Fuck, fuck. Ah! Lyle's answer is nothing. Machine damage. Fuck, they must have hurt you now, Got it covered here. Good. I like this fight, it's a cool one. Fortunately, oh. this vehicle is not getting the idea of just running us over. Very nice, the chicken killed the robo dog. Order. I have really a bad feeling at the shooting at her, but yeah, she's just there using Alfonso as a human shield, so that shows that she's actually maybe not the nicest one. Oh. Shooting the vehicle. Nice, lots of crits. And I think the best choice is actually mouse Who 
let you out of the garbage dump. Oh, we got lucky. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Oh, it's just five seconds. Oh, so actually, we can mark her as a target. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind us. We're just troubleshooting. She has actually a very good evasion, as it seems. By the way, there's a, I think, like, character creation-wise, uh, it wasn't such a good decision to have Cyclops as a, as, as the computer nerd, uh, because she's not so mobile. <coughs> so running around and stuff, uh, it's less fortunate. But on the other hand, X is really shining here, I think with the photon churner getting the extra damage that's really effective oh yeah we can actually shoot it to guard port shooting the cpu actually rather yeah let's shoot rather the body nice Because now Lucia can actually shoot the guy way better. And there. I wonder, I mean, uh, she should actually get Oh no, actually, ah, I'm, I'm mistaken her, right? She never gets a free attack when she's running around. That's stupid. I don't know. Make a super shot on this guy. By the way, I wonder how long this one holds. Ah, minus one per turn, okay, so. Marshall Prone, oh, can we talk with her? No, that's this guy, okay. Preparing for next turn. Preparing for next turn. Preparing for next turn. I mean, we could could we actually hack her? Let's try it. I guess it goes so much to against the, her programming uh, that we just left her no choice. Let's run there. Preparing next turn. Do anything that our friends should be able to take them out, right? Oh, yeah, very good. We are protected. Oh, they are. Lyle's answer is nothing.
before she can heal herself. My head. Loading. Sucking him. <laughs> Back from the dead and better than ever. Only Alfonso would go away there from there. Nice shooting. <clears throat> so X. I have no idea why this is you know why why she uh, can actually shoot so well from up here, but whatever. It's even reckless. So do it. Microwave research. That's kind of rude, you know. <coughs> we are really reducing uh, our ammunition ammunition significantly. So this one, the little feet. Shot would have been good in the beginning because it costs uh, a percentage. Yeah, let's the head. Nice. Oh, and she's dead. Oh, it's kind of sad. I liked her. I really liked her as a, you know, as a character, even though she's probably evil. But we will learn more about that later on. We did it! The Shadow Guards could not stand before us! Rangers, with me! Time to take out Markham! Why is she thinking she can lead us around or something? But well, I mean, she's motivated and that's a good thing. So here we go. Two energy, a pneumatic gauntlet, that's nice. Also costs money, we can sell it. Okay, some ammo. We already know this one. The betting slip, who's, uh, who's becoming employee of the month. Another robot hand. Robot cooling system. Oh, nice. 23 ammunition. Another five energy cells. What's this? Combat analysis processor, very nice. Cutting blades. These sharp blades were engineered in a military lab for one job in an petting zoo assistant. Okay, then. More robot parts. Well, I had hoped for more energy cells now, but that's actually pretty nice. So this was the first fight. I think we can actually end this episode here. There's the rabbit over there. Yeah. And actually, let's have a look inside because there is this building. And now that there are, yes, we can go in here now. Very good. Not picking. Lock picking. No tellurium steel, very good. The crystal clear, drug stash. Ah well. But that was a little bit of stuff. Dr. Breeler, what say you? You're back. How did you get out? No one gets out of the factory these days. We do what we want. So I see. Well, very macho of you, I'm sure. I don't suppose you brought my toilet paper. 
or actually we we know well we could have brought you a roll of to toilet paper but we couldn't take anything with us so awake alfonso what do you say i said what i said there ain't no kids there's a robot lady beside you i wish we could salvage her parts or something because she could she should have some good stuff uh, built into her right so is there anything not really this is just the weird stuff weapon parts Live trees, do not let temperature fall below 75. Aspen resort. Yeah, pink flamingos. So, well, okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. That was pretty cool. A, a nice fight with the vehicle and everything. We are siding with the workers against these slaving conditions. And although Markham you know like uh, from her raw technological experience and uh, capacity she's probably the best one suited for the factory but maybe more an R&D department and not so much running the whole place possibly yeah. but we had to make this decision and I think ethically it's the right one and uh, in the mid to long term I guess the the factory will have a better output even than before so and we just have to stand by this decision now so here we go and in the next episode we will see what's happening inside the factory of steel town so stay tuned i appreciate if you click the like button and you're very welcome to join the channel as well if you haven't done so yet so you never ever miss an episode again so next time bye, -bye.